What would a TikTok ban mean for podcasting? Well, like most things in life, it's all about knowing your audience. And now, a look at what's trending in the podcast world and how it can help your show. It's the Jack Show Podcast. Okay, I'm not going to get into all the international politics about TikTok and their Chinese-owned parent company, ByteDance. But as you may have heard, President Biden, depending on when you consume this podcast, is expected to sign a bill requiring ByteDance to sell off their ownership in the company or have the app banned here in the U.S. Now, in 2023 and 2024, the big discussion around podcasts has been about video. And while I'll spare you the audio only or video for full podcast discussion today, short video clips can be a great way to market your show to new audiences. I can think of two shows. New Heights with the Kelsey Brothers, and Games with Names with Julian Edelman that I've seen hilarious short clips from on Facebook Reels, and it's resulted in me checking out the full podcast. Now, the jury is still out on what the conversion rate is between short-term video clicks to podcast downloads, but the more places you can market your show, the better. According to my favorite annual survey, Edison Research's Infinite Dial, TikTok is now the number three social media app among Americans ages 12 and up, trailing only Facebook and Instagram. 91% of this total population is aware of it, and 35% are active users. Uh, Some of that actually comes from Twitter and X being a dumpster fire lately. Thanks, Elon. Now, as you might expect, TikTok usage does skew younger. While 13% of everyone aged 12 and up say it's their most used social media app, that number jumps to 23% when you narrow that to age 12 to 34 and it falls to single digits age 35 and up. So back to my original question. Who is your audience? Who is your podcast talking to? If it's a younger demo, a TikTok ban could affect your discoverability, and you're going to have to keep tabs on where your audience is going uh, if they're not on TikTok, and B, where they are. If your audience skews older, keep banging the Facebook and Twitter drum. And if your audience is more in the professional space, don't forget about LinkedIn as well. Fish where the fish are. As always, if you have any questions about podcasts or the industry, you can always find me at jagindetroit.com. Later. The most popular ways to grow a podcast are recommendations of friends and family. So share this episode with someone you know. And for any questions you have about podcasts, find Jag online at jagindetroit.com.